penis. <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> I think I got it. Anyway, hello everybody. We're live on. Oh, oh! I just did another test roll. Natural nine and natural twenty. Ha ha ha! Good lord. That's the only nat twenty I'm gonna get all fucking night. Distracted. <laughs> I just hurt myself. Anyway, hello, everyone. We're gonna do a one shot tonight because we're missing a character for our mountain of mystery, and we don't want to uh, uh, continue the the fucking chaos fucking. that's going on. We don't want to continue the fucking. Yeah, <laughs> you said a bad word. Yeah, shh, shh. I'm telling mom. Watch your fucking mouth. No, <laughs> yeah. we're not calling Ivy. Leave her. No, she's not gonna get involved in this one. Uh, I'll tell her. <laughs> I will. No, uh, I'll tell her on you. I don't know what. What, what are you gonna I, tell her that I told I, you I, not I, to say I don't a bad word? No, you didn't even spell it. <laughs> language cap. Language, 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 language cap. Go. Language cap. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, okay. hello everybody. Uh, uh. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing a one shot. Um. It's kind of in continuity. Continuity for Mountain of Mystery. It's happening somewhere else on the side a little bit but you know <laughs> uh, uh, tonight for players uh, we have our regular Mountain of Mystery players plus one uh, so we're just gonna real quick uh, uh, introduce your uh, who you're playing as and, and who you are we'll start with a uh, fucking cat hi I am Wy Wyatt the blue kobold wizard Hell yeah. This is a little guy. I'm a wizard, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> a hairy wizard. <laughs> no, he's a scaly wizard. Uh, scaly wizard. Uh, next up, we got Tiff. Hi, I'm Nuggets. I, uh, I am a yellowish color kobold, uh, and I am a cleric of Bahamut when I'm good. I'm not always good, though. My bad. And next up, we have Nimue. Alright, so I am playing uh, Morgan. She is a daywalker vampire. Um, she's a warlock. And as far as looks, I'd say just think Celine from the Underworld series. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Are you, so are, you doing, are you doing up there? Va vampire chicks, of course, smash. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have Mick. Mouse, I am Mouse. Mouse is me. Mouse is small kobold. He is like little and white and cute. And Mouse, Mouse is here to be strong because I am strong. I, I am so excited for this game. All right, Jedma. <laughs> Jedma. Going what? Hello. <laughs> Jedma. 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 You? What are you? What are you? You tall? Jedma. Freaking blue. Can you hear me? No, yeah. we can't. Yeah, we can hear you. There you are. Oh, there we go. We found him. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I am playing a Warforged. His name is Blended Beans and Cauliflower. <clears throat> he is, uh... <laughs> that, I feel like that was for you, Taco. He's your, he's your typical Warforged, um, but his upper half, he is wearing a... a formal double-breasted lapel topcoat with an underlying Mandarin double pocket vest with like a blue pinstripe to it. Almost like he looks like a butler. <clears throat> okay, uh, real quick. Uh, anybody in chat, artists, you know what to do? Uh, Cause I gotta see this. <laughs> uh, and uh, bringing up the rear, we have Taco. Oh, hey, oh. Nobody told me that we were supposed to sit here and figure out our clothes. 
So first <laughs> off, I'm a barbarian minotaur <laughs> named Cleve, who is now officially wearing nothing more than a loincloth. <laughs> And I'm going to make it a problem you, for every one of these little midget dragons walking around this bitch you, right now. You know what we have to do, though, right? If you're going to be wearing a loincloth, grab a d12. <clears throat> uh, and roll for bulge. <laughs> <We're> all- <laughs> I will take a picture of it. It's 12. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I swear to God. I was really, really hoping you were going to roll it too. Yeah. Right. I'm moving everybody. <laughs> mouse, it's as big as you are. Oh my God. But Mouse knows wielding stronger. <laughs> does, does that mean I have to roll for cake? <laughs> uh, you know what? You are the vampire. Yes. <laughs> what am I rolling? A 12? Uh, for cake, it's d20. Oh, d20, that's right. 12. You have decent cake. Okay. Slightly better than average. (laughs) You ain't no Valexia, okay, but... (laughs) Um, All right, so we join these intrepid adventurers in the same place where all adventurers tend to hang out <clears throat> in the tavern uh, you guys have uh, just recently uh, done a job uh, taking care of a den of gnolls uh, so you're spending some money uh, getting some drinks uh, yeah. feeling good um I, I, I kind of said earlier, I feel like the three normal sized <clears throat> adventurers like adopted the kobolds at some point, and I just I can't get that out of my head. It's fucking beautiful. Uh, anyway, um, she won me over with cake. You guys all know that recently the adventurers guild that you all were a part of, uh, or, or are a part of, um, the more. I'm going to use the word high-ranking adventurers. Um, Experience. The more experienced adventurers were all just on a... not exactly secret mission. Like, you all know that they went on a mission, but you're not sure what it all was about. Um, You've been asked to stay around Zadash, which is the city that you're in right now, um, because the numbers of the Adventurers Guild have been depleted. <gasps> oh no. Um, let me. <clears throat> as you guys are sitting there drinking, um, it, it, well, who's drinking, who's not? Oh, I'm, I'm drinking. <laughs> okay, oh, if yeah. you're drinking, <laughs> uh, roll Wait. a con save. Mouse has a, a, a tankard of beer as big as he is. There. <laughs> so about the size of Cleve's junk. Got it. Uh, <laughs> Morgan got some wine and added a bit of her own private stock to it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Mouse rolled a 19. You, you're already two tankards deep and ready for a third. And you're... <laughs> You're not drunk, but you're feeling all right. Mm-hmm. I'm currently drinking moonshine, and I rolled an 11. <laughs> <laughs> you're not drunk, but like... But I am showing people <laughs> what's under my loin. <laughs> Is your... uh, yeah, I told you, it's very impressive. Thank you. In fact, I think I'm going to walk over to these guys. I had two tips and rolled a five. <laughs> You're, you're, you're feeling pretty tipsy. Who are you walking over to, Taco? I'm walking over to these guys, and I'm going to put one leg up on the chair. There's a half-orc and a dwarf <clears throat> sitting at this table. Um, you don't recognize these people. You have no idea who they are. Uh, uh, you just put your foot up on the table like that? Yep. 
Okay. I'm fairly tall, so it, it's more like a like a chair or a footstool yeah. for me. And I just strike up a normal conversation, ask them what they're doing. Where are they from? What they have for dinner? Uh, uh, they look at you. Hold on, give me a moment. <laughs> We're about to get oh, this party is... started. Oh! <laughs> the dwarf looks at you, uh, uh, just kind of like focuses on his drink and like doesn't really pay too much attention. The half orc, on the other hand, she looks over, uh, uh, looks at the leg. You watch her eyes follow up the leg, and then the eyes kind of open. <laughs> <laughs> well, handsome. My name's Velka. What's yours? I don't have time for cheap sex potions, you wench. <laughs> and then I walk over to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse is confused. Mouse is confused by this display of unneeded aggression. Mouse is confused. <laughs> 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 It's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm solely here just, just, to, just to make it awkward for everybody in this tavern drinking our fucking beer. Okay? Oh, that burned! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, DM. What do these three gotta say? Uh, well, uh, uh, those three, uh, one's a really old dude. Uh, uh, and the other, the other two guys. Um, and the they, old guy leans over and goes, "Hey, handsome." <laughs> hey, handsome, how you looking? You look like you're uh, looking for a fun night. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think it would get this far. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Not up or shut up. <laughs> I will do internal bleeding, old man. Leave me alone. <laughs> what do you think I'd be the one digging? Anyway, um, as this little misadventure is going, oh. I'm taking down bigger. <laughs> now snows this night in the cowboy when he sees one. Holocaust table, man. Uh, in through the door uh, comes walking a familiar figure to all of you. Uh, black armored uh, uh, with red and gold accents, a hood up and a mask. Um, you all recognize the head of the guild, Raziel. Um, a, a very well-known adventurer started the Adventurer's Guild uh, to help the world a little better. Um, he, he looks around. He sees Cleave escaping the old man uh, heading to the bar with his proverbial tail between his... No, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Um, his tail between whose you legs? You all know what I... <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, Raziel looks over. Uh, real quick, uh, we need we we need a group name for this for these guys. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the Thunderbolt. Mm. Mouse always suggests Mouseketeers, but nobody wants to take it. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Deep impact. <laughs> Napalm. <laughs> you waited until I took a drink, you asshole. Dude, don't ever leave this up to me, okay? Fuck me. I actually uh, like Deep Impact. Um, oh, do that again. Uh, deep Impact it is. It, fuck it. Uh, Rob, get it, we were talking about on the way back, right? Raziel walks in, uh, 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 spots your group, um, <laughs> kind of points to you all and points to the back room um, over here to the left. Um, you all recognize, of, uh, oh, it's time for a job. 
Um, heading into the back room here. Okay. Get your kid cat. Drink, 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 and yoink. Okay. Um, this, this private room, this private area, um, big long table, Raziel sits at the front of the table. You can see, like, by the manner of, like, how he walked in and, and how he's, like, not even saying much, just, like, mostly, like, pointed to you guys and pointed to that room. He's, there's definitely something bothering him. Um, something is urgent, uh, that's going on. As you all get in there and you take your seats around the table, he looks out and says, Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. We have an emergent situation, and we don't exactly have the numbers to deal with it. So, I need you guys on this, and I need you on it quick. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. What are we doing? This mission is not only a priority, but it is to be kept as quiet as possible. The mouse is very quiet. No one can know. You chose Do I make this that clear? group for quiet. He looks over and he says, we don't exactly have the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Basically, uh, well, he doesn't have a lot of choice. <laughs> Mouse has already forgotten what you have asked us to do. Your secret is safe with my dumbness. <laughs> Always respect that. No. <sighs> Genma, do you have something? I will exist when the task is complete. All right. And he pulls out a scroll and lays it out. We got a missive about an hour ago. A prominent figure of the Dwindalian Empire has been captured, kidnapped, not entirely sure. They're skimpy on the details. We have been hired to quickly and discreetly get him out of the situation he's in. How flexible is that discreetly? <sighs> I if you know can if you've noticed, him... we have three midgets. <clears throat> get him out as quietly as you can in the respect of do not let any other Empire um, nobles know what's going on. If you need to deal with some ruffians, do so quickly. Witnesses as few as possible. I, that's what I like to hear. I'm slowly, I not so slowly take the giant great axe off of my back and go, no witnesses. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. <laughs> I feel like Cleve just like, oh my. <laughs> you're, you're telling me that it's going to be okay if a few people don't need to exist anymore. Oh, witnesses. <laughs> this figure. Mouse, mouse, mouse. The person we're trying to save is not a witness, okay? I just want to make that very clear up front, okay? I don't. Mouse does not know what witness means. <laughs> there, okay. He, Raziel, like, like, just takes a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah. <sighs> Are you sure there's no one else to take this mission? <laughs> I have tried. Um, I don't like sending you into an unknown situation. For all I know, there's a dragon at the end of this road. Oh, that's okay. There's a dragon at the beginning of it. Yeah. No, it misses. I mean, for all I know, there's a goddamn Tarask involved. I have almost Arf. no information. <laughs> All right, so man, you summarize. Mm -hmm. Kill some people. Mouse. Save a dude. Mouse. Mouse. Don't kill the dude. Get paid, right? 
Exactly. How much are we getting paid? 10,000 gold total. Can I get paid more? Oh, no. Because I have to deal with Mouse. <laughs> he looks over at Mouse. <laughs> I'll no, this is. I'll throw in an extra hundred gold. All right. <laughs> when do we? That leave? better be each. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. They can have my share. I'm a robot, after all. I don't have any use for it. <laughs> Thank you. See, Mouse is a wonderful humanoid, and everyone needs to be aware of that. <laughs> Mouse is questioning what right. the scribbles on the paper mean. Um. Oh, what's your He's... intelligence? Eight. You can read. Roll an intelligence <laughs> check. <laughs> can I give the help action since I have a 20 intelligence? <laughs> no, because it's funny. <laughs> oh, no. I so I rolled a two. With a minus one, that's one. You see, yes, no, yes, no. And you realize those are the two words that you know of written language. Uh, so everywhere that is, you recognize. Yes, no witnesses. <laughs> Sorry, witnesses, no. <laughs> Does help. anybody besides you know that we're doing this? Yes. There are two others. Are we... The man you'll be looking for is a gnome that goes by the name of Oliver Schreiber. Uh, is... Most of you would recognize the name. Uh, Oliver Schreiber is a prominent figure. Like, he's like a right or left hand man of the king so it gets pressed upon you pretty quickly exactly the gravity of the situation mm -hmm. who's the other one that knows well this is all yeah my secretary this is shittier than Tiamat's asshole so we can be heading out huh? my secretary she's the one that referred me to you Oh, so your secretary don't like you then. Okay, got it. I get the feeling every day. I want to look day. for another. <laughs> All right. Okay. It is what it is. When do we leave? Right now. And he pulls out a piece of paper and he hands it uh, uh, over to you, Wyatt. Um, you take a look and it's, it's a map um, with the mark of the last known location. It's over here. Um, in, in the paper, there's also um, a, a little bit more detail. Uh, essentially, Oliver was sent, uh, was given information of a sensitive object that had been mm -hmm. found. And he went to go look for it himself mm. and has <laughs> not returned. Um, he was able to send out essentially an SOS mm -hmm. that, hey, something's wrong. Yes. Um, and now you guys are headed that way. Um, there are mountains not too terribly far from where you guys are. That's where you're headed. Um, looking at the map, uh, on foot, probably three days. If you guys get some horses, uh, probably a day, day and a half. Okay. We're gonna get so if we get some horses, it'll be about a day and a half. If we walk, mm -hmm. it's gonna be about three days. Well, we could get well, some like Shetland like ponies. Like... <laughs> no, just get us get... one big horse and we can there. <laughs> I mean, you can honestly fair. put one one of the midgets on the back of each one of the yeah, like, cars. Like three <laughs> horses. Mouse does not you. like this word. Um, probably four because we have to bring him back on something. Right. right. So, is there if a you guys want to anywhere? Uh, there, there is a stables um, near each one of the gates of Zadash, uh, heading up to them. Uh, 
if you wanted to purchase some horses, you certainly can. Uh, actually, 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 and, and very fast. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, wait, can we get some? Can we get some war goats? Morgan. <laughs> Morgan no. looks at, at her cat, Jasmine, and just goes, Actually, we might not need another horse. You said this gentleman's a gnome. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think I could uh, um, conjure up a pony or something. So two things. One, Cap, roll d d20. We'll see if they have a, a goat. Uh, and two, <laughs> Nimue, every time you're going to say your, your character's name, I'm going to be like, when did Archeowulf get here? Where's he at? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got six. Oh, trust me, I know. No, no war goat, sorry. Uh, so for three horses, that'll be six gold uh, for whoever wants to drop the money. Mouse will drop it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. So Mouse. you guys uh, uh, mount up on your horses: a brown one, a black one, and a uh, 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 spotted. I don't know the right term for it, but it's like spot, like Apples. black and brown. Dapple. There Dapple. you go. Um, you you mount all three and start heading towards the the last known location. Uh, real quick. The last yeah. gnome location. <laughs> the last. <laughs> Ow. Why am I getting this like you... this image in my head of all of the cobalt with coconuts? <laughs> Just a Monty Python scenario. Meg. Where did you get the coconut? Take the M inspiration. <laughs> Is that, uh, I mean, we, we've had some good ones tonight, but none have, like, done that to me. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I thought I was going to take psychic damage. I accept. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I, honestly, I, honestly, I did. Honestly, Rocco should have gotten inspiration for making you stop, fall off your chair earlier. No, he didn't, because it went in my nose. And it burns, so ah. fuck you. Don't make me try harder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Taco, I dare you. I double Mouse dog is dare prepared you. to exist. You know that chat's gonna blow up in a second here, saying, do it. <laughs> Dino. Do it, do it you can. Do it. For Taco. Do it. Uh, Mouse is prepared it. to assist. We'll have uh, it, uh, Taco go ahead and roll a d8 for me. Let's see if you have... Oh. Any interesting encounters? It's for Girth. A couple options. Oh. <laughs> Not for Girth. <laughs> no, it. Please don't make Great. it a D8 for Girth. Ow. Yeah. The no. Camera went blurry. Oh my god. Meg, you're the one that made him Post roll a D12 for Girth last time. <laughs> Me? Yeah. It's a tree stump. I can't remember. That. That work? No. I, I believe you. I just don't remember it. <laughs> but I fully believe you. Okay. What'd you roll? We rolled a three. A three. Yes, you do have an encounter. Uh, give me, give me just a moment here. I'm gonna fuck with my. Oh, yep. There we go. Aha, yeah, I fixed it. Talk I am a genius. The other campaign has an 11 inch skirt because of you. <laughs> yeah. It's a Louisville slugger. Yep. <laughs> Seven by eleven. Yeah. It's a Stanley no. Cup, is what it is. It's just <laughs> yeah. Um, it's Grand, the battering ram from uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Um, as you guys I mean, are. Seven Eleven do they advertise their big gulps. As you guys are riding uh, uh, full tilt down, down the road, uh, uh, a little bit ahead, we'll say, uh, Taco, you're the one that kind of notices it off in the distance. Um, there is a wagon on the side of the road. Um, it looks like a, a wheel has come off. Is this my party from the other day? This is my wagon? It was my I it, it that did give me the idea of putting this on the table. Um you're just the one that rolled it, buddy. Do I do I see any figures as we're slowing down and riding closer? Uh as you get closer, you do see a uh, uh it's a family of elves. Um and 
two of them are trying to fix the wheel. It's not going. Fuck them, elves. Let's keep riding. <laughs> that is an option. <laughs> that is entirely. We'll stop. We'll stop. We need no this. We need this. <laughs> we got this. It's fine. Don't worry. We might as well start this. We'll just light the fucking candle at this point. Uh, so you pull over, um, walk up. Uh, sure enough, uh, uh, take a look around. Actually, let's have uh, whoever wishes to. You can either roll an investigation or a perception check. Ooh. I will. Okay. I'll do it. 18. Uh, investigation. Okay. <laughs> 12. I try so hard. <laughs> it's right over there. You find 11. Some- 21. <laughs> oh. Mouse rolled a 19 for perception. Um, to, for for Mouse, you kind of you stay on the horse and like stand up and you kind of like just like go sentry mode. You're, you're keeping your eyes open for some danger. Um, they're not wit. They're not witnesses. <laughs> These are not witnesses, Mouse. It's okay. Uh, uh, Tiff, what was your character's name again? Sorry. Nugget. Nugget. All right, now you and Cleve, uh, the two of you, like, take a look. Um, you can see the, the way the dirt tracks are. Mid-ride, the wheel came off, and they did kind of careen off the side. Um, you, you walk up, um, and you can see uh, uh, there's a father figure uh, with maybe a teenage. It's hard to judge with elves. <laughs> Uh, with their ages. He could be 10, he could be 100. Uh, but they're struggling to, to lift the the <clears throat> axle high enough to get the broken wheel off and get the new one on. Do uh, they have anything in the back of the wagon? Uh, what, remind me, what'd you roll? 18? No, I rolled an 11. 11? <clears throat> the... the covers are closed, so you're not entirely sure. Uh, but you walk up, you ride up. Um, the, the father is, is, like, covered in dirt and sweat. He's probably been at this for a minute. Um, uh, hello! Um, I don't mean to be a bother, but uh, if you would please some assist- um, assistance. Um, we were driving down the road, and, well, it's pretty obvious, uh, and he points at the busted wheel. Yeah. It has been a hey, uh, difficult morning so far, uh, and I... Uh, good. Beans uh, and broccoli, I, uh, whatever your name was, you, are you strong enough to lift that? You, you can use the beans. acronym. You can use the acronym for his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BBC. He's the BBC. Uh-huh. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's well, a big well. well. Beautiful. Well, it's a really long time to think about what that could be. <clears throat> Big beautiful construct. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> yes. Um, Fuck. <laughs> BBC clicks over to Elvish. I was gonna say Channel Four. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys hear it? Click, click, and you speak Elvish. Hello, may I be of assistance? Looks like Ooh. it's rather heavy. You, you you see uh, uh, excited tone. Um, oh, good. Yes, uh, uh, absolutely. Um, you speak Elvis very well, by the way. Um, yes, any assistance you can provide, uh, you. lifting or or uh, we do have a spare wheel. But um, so you go over and you're gonna lift it up. BBC. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go ahead and make a go ahead and make a strength check. You can do an advantage if if uh, Cleve wishes to help. 
I would like to be I'll keeping help. an eye out from the surrounding for any danger. Okay. I'll help. Uh, I would like to be judging Hades for his ability to lift it. Roll okay. insight. Uh, mouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 or no, I'm gonna make oh! it athletics, mouse. Roll athletics. Oh, good. I was gonna say I rolled pretty okay, but a little bit too athletics. Um. So. And then strength. What'd you yeah. get, Gemma? I rolled a 19 with the assistance. Well, sorry, 19 plus six, so 25. Ooh, with Jesus athletics, fuck. That's between the two of you, just shoop, like a fucking yes. piece of paper. Um, uh, and between the, the two elves, they're able to really quickly and easily get the wheel off and get the next one on. Uh, uh, what'd you roll for your athletics, Mouse? 23. You want them to perfectly bend, di didn't lift with the back at all, definitely lift with his knees. The form was perfect, just immaculate. It's great. Is Mouse hanging from it now? <laughs> Mouse approves. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that is very quickly solved. Um, by the end of it, uh, uh, he turns to you again, BBC, and, and Elvish. Um, we cannot thank you enough. Um, we don't exactly have much on us right now, but uh, uh, he does um, open a compartment on the side of the wagon and pull out a pouch and hands it over to you. Um, oh, taking a quick look no, inside. No need. Uh, uh, oh, I, go, I, ins I insist. Uh, all right. Um, not many people these days are willing to stop and help complete strangers. Uh, I mean, it, I worked on a farm, <laughs> so it's just a matter of helping, I guess. <laughs> May the gods smile upon you. Uh, with that, they, they mount up and they head off um, back the way you came. So they were headed to Zadash. Um, <laughs> they were dashing to Zadash. Anyway, um, you take a look inside the pouch uh, uh, and there is a um, blue glowing gem. Would you say it's like the demon core? I will, uh... Stow it away for now. I wait uh -huh. until they leave. Hmm. And then I will probably discuss with Cleave and... Morgan? <clears throat> uh, Wyatt is your guys' wizard. So if there's any magic to it... <clears throat> Right, did, but he's one Nugget of the kobolds, correct? <laughs> yeah. Go, but he's also the one yeah, with 20 intelligence. Give... He's the smart one. Yeah. Oh, okay. you know, I have my mom. <laughs> I, I feel like... I he's, feel also, like Wyatt, he's also Morgan's friend. I feel like She's Wyatt like... is the one that uh, BBC adopted. Aww. Like, this is the sensible one. Gotcha. We're taking this one, too. Um, <laughs> we'll keep this. Keep Morgan that one alive. I got dibs on mouse then, because I just want to release that you, little terror. You 100% found mouse, and we're, like, mouse, yeah. and we're <laughs> like, this is an angry little shit. This one's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Where mouse goes, nugget goes. Where mouse goes, nugget goes. <laughs> like, I got two little shits. That's uh, great. Do you, do you have any uh, detect magic or identify, Wyatt? I have identify. Uh, if you would like to cast, you can cast it while you guys continue riding. Yeah. Still looking for danger. So far, it's it's pretty clear. Um, are you? So you you finish casting identify. Uh, this is a luck stone. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so if guys. you attune to it, you get a plus one to all your saving throws. Uh, I believe that's. Does anybody need some luck? Anybody need to be lucky? 
slowly pull back the so loincloth. I have all the luck I need. <laughs> I think that would be you, little friend. Um, Me? Yeah, you get a plus one to all your saving throws and ability checks. Yeah. Including initiative. Mm-hmm. Not, not saying the wizard's squishy, but the wizard's squishy. I'm, I'm a little, you know, it's true. A be a guy. Yeah. Um... Eventually, though, uh, by the end of this day, you do find, uh, upon nighttime, find a place to camp, um, bed down for the night. Uh, Being that you have the chef feet, Mouse, why don't you go ahead uh, uh, and roll performance for me? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Uh, Since you have the feet, I'll give you advantage. I, I, oh, okay, yay, that's nice. Okay, hey, rolling again. How delicious is I'ma take my I'm gonna I'm gonna take my first roll. I rolled a sixteen, so that is uh sixteen. Dinner's <laughs> fucking immaculate, guys. Uh, uh, it's finished. very well done, especially you know, cooking over a fire. Uh, um some, some stew. Uh well fucking seasoned. Delicious shit, guys. Um, I don't want to see Jasmine anywhere. Well, yeah, what'd you use for the meat, Mouse? This was really good. Mor- Morgan, roll, uh, roll perception. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no. Mousey and squirrel. Eight. You don't see the cat anywhere. It was a squirrel named Stu. Mousey and squirrel. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh no! It's it's. I getting... mean, te- technically, technically, she wouldn't have been the meat. She would have just been yes. poof. A being, yeah, being a summoned poof. creature, as soon as it died, it would disappear. <laughs> uh, but but you Mouse get you the smell. sense that I reach out with baby, my telepathic bond. You don't feel it. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> She's just gonna food. walk. She's just gonna walk up to Mouse and be like, "Just so you know, <laughs> Hold you." Ch- chat. What is it with cats being killed in this channel? <laughs> I didn't do it this time, you bastards. No. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. She, no, she just so. walks up to walks up to Mouse and very quietly in Mouse's ear, just goes, "Don't forget, you look very tasty yourself." And she just licks her lips and then walks oh. away. Mouse, Mouse looks her dead in the eyes and goes, Mouse is delicious. Ah. And then goes back to stirring the stew. <laughs> and she goes to fucking cast Find Familiar again. <laughs> I am so glad I am an automaton. Um, I'm also going to, during this like rest, I'm going to make some treats. Mm. Uh, ooh, what do you make? Um, treats. I, I, um, I, because of what, um, Morgan said, I'm gonna think about that for a second, and then I'm gonna make little, like, um, they're essentially, like, uh, no big cookies, but I make them in the shape of cat paws. I love, love it. it. Um, Are, uh, maybe. Before we go to sleep, are we being followed? Uh, roll perception. Let's see if you can sense anything. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Not that you can see. Everything seems pretty clear. Okay. Um, you all kind of uh, bed down for the night. Uh, BBC, you go into sentry mode and kind of uh, um, keep an eye out. Uh, But other than the usual sounds of the night, uh, nothing crazy happens. Uh, At one point in the night, you do hear slurping sounds uh, uh, and you see uh, uh, with with a water skin, you see Morgan just... 
midnight snack, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad exactly. that's the way that this went after BBC was brought up 400 times. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I did there? Got it. I'm glad, so- I think I'm glad someone caught it. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> it was, don't blame me. That's, that's both me and Morgan. <laughs> you can call it whatever. Yeah, see, the chat knows what's up. Water, you know, you can call it whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do take donations. <laughs> so, is she hamster water? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know what? We all wake up. Breakfast is great. <laughs> the breakfast is great. Breakfast is great. Wonderful. No, Mouse feels oh, a little lethargic. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Mouse, Aww. don't you, with, with the chef food, uh, don't they get like some sort of bonus for eating your food? If I remember mm-hmm. right? Uh, they do. Um, bit to do. do. Uh, you can prepare another food for literally all of us. It's all good. The entire region is your food. Um, there's a healing bonus if people were healing themselves uh and because i made treats i can give them to people um i have three treats that i can give to people that they can uh if they eat them they get temporary hit points okay and how so, like the, the, the until until they sleep gotcha or until they get new temporary hit points um but uh the well, with the this, special food, you made the breakfast. treats last night. So if you take breakfast to make some more treats, then you'll have six, right? Uh, they don't last that long. How long? Do so they the last? treats don't last that long. They last eight hours. Hmm. Uh, the three of them can eat eat the ones from last night. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Well, All six of you uh, get some get some cat paw treats. Uh, and you guys. Uh, get each gets three temporary hit points. Bum ba da da. Well, except for BBC because he this doesn't eat. eat food. Oh, we're right. shoving it's it still, in that metal body of yours, my guy. Uh, it could still work. Um, did you just open up the compartment the, 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 in the his magic. stomach, put it in there, close it? Wait, do you have like a microwave in your stomach? Is open it up with the thing Dead. in there? Hold up. No, I, I don't, Wyatt. I'm sorry. What I, is I, a microwave? Is um, it's a frequency of energy that like it can like heat things up. It's it, you don't worry about it. This sounds like wizard I, shit. I was gonna say if Mouse you're about to, if you're about to meta this shit, you're gonna take some psychic damage. But that was well played, sir. Well played. Uh, you guys mount up once more and head towards the uh, uh, last gnome location. Um, you do reach episode it. Episode title. Um, episode title. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm down with that. Yes. Um, uh, I'll vote it. You you do reach that location. Um, go ahead and make. Uh, we'll either do we'll do investigation checks or survival checks. I'll allow that too. You. <laughs> Nat 20. Yo, shit. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> oh, shit. Ten. <laughs> so we got the full gambit. 24. So investigation. So, so, 21. Uh, you, you guys, uh, uh, you get to this final area where Oliver was last known to be. Um, you take a look and you can see signs of a struggle. Um, you can see a lot of, uh, uh, hoof beats. At some points you can see, uh, uh, splashes of blood. Um, Cleve, you, like, you dial in. It's, it's like tunnel vision. Uh, and you can almost see, uh, um, you, you guys remember the scene, uh, uh, Princess Bride where the prince... Uh, Prince Humperdinck goes to the site of the sword fight, and he's like, I know exactly, you know, he starts reenacting their moves. Uh, Cleve almost does that. He's, he's like, completely flowing in his mind exactly what happened. Um, you can see that there is a, a group of people 
uh, many of them heavily armored, the way their footprints are deeper um, than what the size of the footprint should be. Uh, uh, and then you notice that within the specks of blood, some of the some of the areas of blood, there is feathers. Um, you you kind of not letting it uh, ruin your flow. You pick up one of the feathers and you just kind of ha- hand it over to Wyatt for him to investigate while you just keep looking through, uh, um, looking for evidence of where exactly Schreiber was. And you do find gnome sized footprints. And you're like, there, right there. And you follow the running path where he tried to escape. And you see two heavily armored footprints along with him, guards possibly. Um, here and there, some specks of blood. Taking a look at those, one of one of the uh, flecks of blood are darker than than usual humanoid blood. And then the footprints stop in the middle of the road, as if they were plucked off of the ground. Eventually, you you guys do find, um, like following some blood trails, pieces of horses, and then a few pieces of humans. Question. Uh Uh-huh. If... If I were to cast where the footprints stopped, if I were to cast Detect Magic, would I be able to tell if there was dust or tracelessness used? You would be, if if you did that. Okay, I can do, I can cast that at will. So um, you go ahead and, and cast that. You do you do see like evidence of magic as if people were casting some spells, like you can see spell residue. Um, but you don't detect any dust of um, non-detection. Uh, Wyatt, you take a look at this, this large feather, and with a 24 that you rolled, you recognize these as a harpy feather. It's a harpy feather. Uh, you, you all listen to Cleve just kind of lay out what happened uh, mm-hmm. and h- how the fight went. And it did not go good for the people on the ground. They were not pre- either not prepared for an aerial attack, or this was extremely well orchestrated by the harpies, which isn't unheard of. They they aren't dumb, but something this coordinated is off. Do we see any location that they could have taken? From this? your net 20, you do, like, f- follow the path. Um, you- you're more or less, like, sniffing it out at this point. Um, but you see off in the distance, uh, um, around the mountains, there's, like, a cliffside <coughs> that would be a perfect place for a harpy nest. <sighs> We're gonna have to go over there, but do we find anything on the ground that can be used besides just the struggle to determine how many enemies we may be facing? For that, I'm gonna make you roll an I'll give you a nature check or a survival check. Can I assist? Yeah. Just guess. Oh, did you get another nat 20? I swear to God. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Well, coming for the assist. <laughs> <laughs> you take a look. Bro, uh, cookies um, and green guys. With that, uh, 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 the amount of blood, the amount of... You can tell that there was, like, possibly 10 total people on the ground. And the fact that like only three might be alive, um, there were probably upwards of uh, um, eight to ten harpies. <clears throat> However, you do see quite a bit of harpy blood, so there's likely less than that now. 
anywhere between five to five to eight harpies left. However, with the nat 20, um, you do sense a little something extra off with with the way this co- was coordinated. Th- this was most definitely more coordinated than harpies should be. Something is leading them. Karuth? <clears throat> I'm probably going to convey with the wizard and uh, tap Mouth on the shoulder to start getting Mouth hyped up. That Mouth is about to get to use that battle axe on some things. And there no, needs to be some excitement in it. That's right. That's right. Get hyped you, up. Get hyped up. You got this. You can 100% thing with just the, like shoulder her. And... Yep. The yeah, thing with the yeah, yeah, horns, those stick it on the witnesses. Head and it, Holding on to the horns, just riding along. That's his boy. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I can fit all three of them. <laughs> you pro- you probably <laughs> could. I'm not gonna lie. You probably could. one on each shoulder. Um. And then one dead center in the middle. So you yep. start uh-huh. on my own little, that way. My, my own little war party. Uh, oh, on, uh, on, uh, M- uh, Mouse uh, is for sure the one in the middle with the great axe <laughs> out going charge. <laughs> Uh, so you guys uh, all start I, heading I'm that gonna way. convey with Jim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then it is. BBC? <laughs> BBC? You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have mm. any I'm input innocent. on war strategy for what we're about to do? Well. No, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Great fucking help. Great. Wizard boy, let me talk to you for a moment. <laughs> yes. Um, for you, yeah. roll an arcana check for me real quick, Wyatt. Arcana. Uh, going off what Cleve said, that th- there's definitely something leading these things. That's a 25. Yeah. A 25. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You got that a, plus nine? That plus nine is nice. You, you got to <laughs> think... And it takes a moment, but you are aware of a certain type of fiend Mm. that when on this plane does actively seek out harpies as basically followers, fodder, minions, minions. Yeah, that's that's, that's the word I'm fucking thinking of. Uh, Um, Mm. You're aware of an abhorrent overlord, and mm-hmm. that is the most likely entity. So it's most likely this thing called an abhorrent overlord. Mm-hmm. It's a fiend, it's a prick, and it likes to use harpies as meat shields. Right. Does it bleed? Yes. yes. I would like to know That's, that too. They are probably what that darker blood on the ground was. It was more. Well, who wants yeah. to go beat somebody's head in? I do. I do. Right. All right. The midgets are there. To I mean, the, the, the 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 we leave a deep impact. <laughs> <laughs> now, strictly yeah. speaking, I'm not going to beat anybody's head. I'm going to be like 100 feet away, but like, we're going to fuck them up. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you guys oh, going to try and approach this uh, stealthily, or how high is the cliff yeah. side? <clears throat> um, when, when you get to like distance to the cliff side, maybe a mile. Once you're up there, uh, it's probably a good like two hundred ish feet off the ground. Mouse has That's a large how good I am going to be at stealth, but we'll try. Hmm? Mouse has questions. Yes. What is stealth? <laughs> and you, you stay with me, little one. <laughs> with with Mouse riding on uh, uh, on Cleave, uh, uh, we're gonna just roll Cleave stealth for for both of you. <laughs> 
Uh, so everybody roll stealth. Well, I'm going to die in the fight, but that's a nat 20 for a 26. <laughs> hey. hey, hey. Uh, uh, six. Ten. Total. Six, ten. Nat 20 for a 20. Oh, let me Seven. see. Mouse. Let me see right, what Mouse did roll for the fun of. What's her stealth? So, so here's the fun thing. <laughs> um... <laughs> the reason Nugget and Wyatt are so quiet is because the two of you climbed on to the back of Cleave and are just hiding back there and are impossibly to sp impossible to spot. Cleave, you you feel so quiet. You you are a ninja of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I was built for speed, not comfort, okay? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to leave that one there. <laughs> Much like myself. There you go. Yeah, it, uh, and I'm sorry, Genma, what did you roll again? A seven. So you clank. feel super quiet. Next to you, you just hear <laughs> clank, clink, clank, clink, clank, clink. Uh, but it doesn't bother you because you are so quiet. Your sensors um, don't pick up your own noise. <laughs> the no. Yep. And then I rolled a six, and and Jasmine got a total of a four. Um, I I'll have it be known I rolled for funsies, and Mouse's roll would have been twenty three. <laughs> the kobolds are the ninjas, man. They're all just <laughs> hanging on Cleve's back. That's fine. This is, there's a reason that we made the character big. <laughs> so do we get a if we're just behind him? Do we get like a plus two to AC for having full yeah. cover? Yeah. At the moment, you all have a plus two to AC because Cleve is your AC. Uh, <laughs> and Cleve's not wearing armor. I want that to be known. Yeah. Yo, I'm just just thinking thinking you're gonna say Cleve's not wearing her. pants. I'm hanging on the back of the loincloth. <laughs> ah! The tail oh, just it. smacking you as I we just, go along. I just had the picture of... That's not his tail! But that's on the front side. Wait, just, which part of the loincloth are you just, grabbing? Just hanging, <laughs> just hanging on. What the fuck, you people? I wonder to if I could fair. launch him technically if I just did a little flex of like the Kegel. Just just do the helicopter and launch him. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm the squishy like, one. I feel like I should get inspiration for that. The Kegel maneuver. Yes. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I've been drinking. So. I will cast Mage Armor on myself as we are. Uh, Okay. You should probably Traversing do that, because if I rage and you're next you to that You guys uh, uh, approach the nest that you see. Sitting in the nest, kind of like uh, uh, reclining back, you see a, a figure uh, uh, whose head is like this golden crest of horns and like golden armor along this like almost uh, a gray-black body. Uh, um... And a just a wicked smile, surrounded by a few harpies. Um, I would say um, before anybody else, uh, Morgan, you would pick up the muffled sounds of like so someone's got something in their mouth and they're trying to like yell. Mm. Um. Good evening, everyone. I was expecting someone to try and rescue this pesky little <sighs> nuisance, but I was expecting someone a little more, well, more. Ow. That's you. How dare you? 
Your, your harpies are merely five feet tall. They come up to my waist. How dare you? <laughs> can I see? Can I see or tell where the the hostages are? Yeah, it's you're hearing sound coming from inside the nest. Um, so can we can we see Oliver from where we are? No. Okay. Um, I'll get roll perception for me real quick, Morgan. Uh, perception. My dice go. Here's, here's, here's the thing, Cleve. If you can throw me into the nest, I can teleport somebody out That's of there. That's an eight. You can teleport them out of eight. there? You're you're not That's sure. You hear you hear at least one. So you know someone's alive. But um the abhorrent overlord stands. Let's see. I think I'll eat the big one first. Kill the rest. Quick, quick All question. twelve inches of him. Uh huh. Uh, so in my languages, it says that one of my languages is telepathy. Can I just do that at will then? I'm not seeing anything in my spells that say like yes. Okay. Uh telepathically, I'm just thinking over to Cleve. Are we trying to negotiate with these fuck faces? Never. Fucking Never. Eldritch Blast on the big guy. We're here to make a deep impact. Uh, the, moment, the, mo the moment he says that, just Eldritch Blast. It, well, he's already called for a fight, and you guys didn't sneak up very well. So, it, it, the <laughs> fight's happening. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Okay, go ahead. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I was just... We did fine. Me. Um, mostly pretty good. Fucking balls. I say pretty good, and then two small numbers come up. Great. Fucking wonderful me. Um... Okay, so let's get, uh, Cleave? Yeah. What, uh, roll initiative, please. Everybody roll initiative. Did I not say that? Fucking roll, bitches. Nope. There, is that better? Now it's a fucking party, my guy. Production. We need battle music. <clears throat> That's all you get. I got a 13 for a 12. <laughs> nice. 12 for you. And then Cleve, sorry, what'd you get? Uh, rolled the 17. I'm right. looking for... It'd be top center. Right next to your AC. Uh, 19. Gotcha. Nice. Uh, Morgan. I rolled an 18 for a 21. Hey. Woo. Uh, Mouse. Mouse also rolled a 19. Hey. <laughs> uh, nugget. 18. Everybody did good. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. That, that one's Nugget. Uh, why is... Oh, that's why. Hold on. I have the wrong token for Wyatt. Hold up on there. Let me grab. Where did it go? Oh, right over there. Copy. And go back to the map. Don't forget to put map. my cat in initiative. Uh, I'm just going to have a chair your initiative. Um. And then add turn. Um, so you three are all like on top of him. Um, why would you get? Uh, Fifteen. Perfect. That should be it. All right. The abhorrent overlord is first. Got a twenty-two. 
Fool. So. so did Morgan um, get off Eldritch Blast before that? No. You guys didn't oh. speak up well enough for for that. Uh, but. Oh. Do, 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 do. I need a wisdom saving throw from Cleave. Oh, God! Remember, saving throws are the, the one that's small box. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know if that's danger sense. That would not activate at this moment. So it, when you okay. would make dexterity saves for something that you can see, that's when danger sense would kick in and you get advantage. Right, but I see him doing some shit right now. So like, let's yeah, not. This is a air. wisdom save. Yeah. Is he do do? Does that Wyatt see him doing? Yeah. Uh, Wyatt, you you see him doing something? Why? Do I see him doing something that would indicate he's casting a spell? Or yes. like, as I was gonna say, can I tell the difference between a spell and something that's like inherent to a okay. creature? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I will counterspell. Oh, you're gonna use counterspell. I'm gonna fuck you. Use... <laughs> Um, so you watch the abhorrent overlord stand and reach out towards Cleave and make a, 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 like a f gesture with his fingers and you hear the words coming from his mouth. You don't understand them, but you know that's magic, fuck you. And you cast Counterspell and you watch the magic um, head towards Cleave and then dissipate. And the overlord very interesting. I think this might even be a little bit of fun then. Um, he is going to take off into the air. Uh, how high? He is going to go 50 feet in the air. Morgan, you're up. Son of a bitch, I was gonna use Crown of Madness on him. Fucking. I, 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 <laughs> she's, she's just gonna. I don't know. She's gonna look at him as he takes off in the air and goes, Yeah, fuck you, Eldritch Blast. Well, re real quick, out of curiosity, what did you roll for your wisdom save, Taco? 17. 17. Oh, you would have succeeded anyway. Hey! Anyway. Damn it! <laughs> Worth that'd it. have been fucking good. Um, so yeah, go ahead, Eldritch Blast. Remember, you have two beams. Uh, you can send two straight to him, or one to one, and one to another. Both are at him. Fuck him. All right. Roll uh, two. <laughs> Got an at twenty. Well that's a nat 20 and an 11. So 26 nice. and 17. Two uh, 26 and 17 both hit. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, you guys are rolling good tonight. No. So then, so it's 2d8 for the nat 20 instead of 1d8, right? Uh, it's d10. Or, or, it's d10. Eldritch Blast is D10. Oh, actually, it's higher than that. I was looking at the wrong thing. So actually, it's a 28 and a dirty 20. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, I was around a 19. Math. You're good. Um, so yeah, it'd be 2D10. Okay. Uh, and then what, what, one of them is either doubled or roll an extra D10. Well, that's a 10 and a 1. So 11. Evan, roll another d10 for the nat 20. Okay. Six. Seven. Uh, and then, yeah. Ow. Yeah. Let me see. Um, what nice. Is, what this <laughs> is. Two blasts. Um, Just get him directly in the chest. Um, uh, and, and. 
Hmm. I am using my bonus action to cast Pex on this motherfucker. Okay. So until the spell ends, I deal an extra 1d6 necrotic to the target hmm. whenever I hit it with an attack. Okay. And then you also get to choose one ability check that he has disadvantage on. That's ability checks, not saving throws, but checks. strength, dex. Uh, constitution? Sure. Okay. All right, so he has disadvantage on constitution checks. Um, all right, next up, mouse. Okay, mouse's uh, roll 20 does not like mouse. So how far away? from anything is mouse. Uh, well... Mouse closest... is on top of Cleve. Yeah. The closest one to you is uh, uh, 35 feet. Cool. For fun, if you would like to use your reaction, Cleve, I will allow you to use your reaction to, to, to launch a bitch. Uh, I was also I was, basically I was basically just gonna hold my action until he could. So I'm, he I'm gonna to allow it if you want to so, use your reaction to throw. Question: uh, How far is my jump distance? Uh, it's th what's your strength modifier? Three. Uh, so 15 feet. Yeah, I'll fucking launch somebody. Which direction right. do you want me to throw you in? <laughs> Towards the witnesses! Alright, roll an um, athletic. First, Dane, you got first two and options. foremost, you got I would like to rage. I air. would like to rage yeah, first. You're, you are raging. <laughs> you have three cobalt <laughs> missiles. You load one up. And you... <laughs> mm -hmm. no, no, cobalt missiles. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Missiles. They're, they're all on your back too, so it's just like, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Throwing these bitches like javelins. Do you have a preference at which one of these witnesses you would like to engage with? Literally, whatever you can throw, whatever you can get me to. All right. What is my throw distance? It DM. depends on how good you roll. Roll an athletics check. Can he rage first? Nope. Chuck me into the center uh, of the circle. Reaction. Chuck me as close to the circle as you can get. I got 40 foot of movement and we'll move, go from there. Wait a minute, athletics. So I plus six, to, okay, that might save us. Uh, plus six, that's a 13. It's, not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, you, you get him. You know what, uh, uh, Mouse, make a, uh, just a straight dexterity check. 17. Okay, you land good. You're, you're a little bit on, like, this, this little cliff here. Uh, um, you, you misjudged the wind. A good gust of wind just came and, and brought him down sooner than you were expecting, Cleve. Well, um, it's all right, with you my... I got two more. Yeah, I'm gonna Kentucky <laughs> gonna... Windage the shit out of this. I'm gonna rush forward to the one closest yeah, you to have, me. You have all your movement go ready to go. To attack. So you're right here, start swinging. Fuck yeah. <laughs> There's a nat 20 all on the first one. All of you have gotten nat 20s, you all are bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, if this makes you feel better, I got a nat one on the second. Yeah. Oh. A little. You do have DM inspiration, though. You can. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go for it. Do, do, do. So that's going to be a 17 to hit. 17 to hit. Yeah. Are you doing both attacks to one harpy or one to each? Because you have two on your. Uh, I was going to do. I was gonna do both to the same one to All just right. like end a harpy. All right. Going at the okay. center one here. Go ahead and roll your damage. 
So that is. Um, 22 points for the crit. Jesus fuck. And then. Um, 15 points for the other one. So oh. you run up, j just you, you land on that cliff, uh, um, slightly superhero landing, um, but you, you just scramble towards this thing, dragging your sword behind you full speed, whip that thing straight up. The, the harpy like starts taking off into the air, but you arc it just right and just clip the wing and just you hear this crunch of bone as it folds and falls to the ground. You pick up the sword and just with a grin of glee and rage in your eyes. <laughs> into no the skull. witnesses. That's one harpy down. Uh, <laughs> next up, Cleaves. <laughs> uh, let's just take everybody into battle with me. You have 40 feet of movement. If you went right, like, this way, you can get this mm -hmm. one. I can jump and then dash, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah, you, you so get up there just fine. I would like to make it... I'll say you can get like right here and then you're on top of these surrounding these two. Isn't that one? Oh, that one's dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put me right there. And Pretty it is good. immediately good. after you dash action on your turn and move at least 20 feet, you can make one melee attack with my horns as a bonus action. Yeah. So I would like, so I have to. So roll. I'm gonna beat uh, the shit out of the thing with a quarter staff. Well, you 100% ran far enough for your um, horn attack. Um, so you can go ahead. The hammering and, horns. Uh, immediately after you hit a creature with a melee. That's part of the attack. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. You get so, what I'm going for? Yep, yep. I, I, I was looking at the goring rush first, but that's after using the dash action, and you want to use the attack action. Yeah. Gotcha. So, I, well, first off, I'm assuming you want to rage. Sure, why not? Might as well let the little ones so, see how the big boys do it. So that will take your bonus action for this turn, but that means next turn you can use your horns as a bonus action. Okay. But raging is good. You get more damage and you can take more. I want to uh, rage. <laughs> so you all just hear the the raging bull uh, yeah. as his eyes go bloodshot. And you take out your your quarter staff, which is just a fucking fence post, uh, <laughs> and start <laughs> whacking harpies. Uh... Which one are you aiming for? The one above you or below you? On the map. I feel like the one above me. I okay. really, I really don't like the look of this one. Fair enough. Uh, and it's just yeah. full your... rage up above, bringing it straight down with like a pummeling mm -hmm. strike. Would you like to use reckless attack and then you get advantage? The downside meaning anything attacking you also has advantage. Yeah, no, I don't like the big guy up there right now. Okay. I don't need him to have any more advantage than he already does. So it's a <laughs> cute thought there, DM. How about we just, <laughs> just calm down? Look um, at you. Look at you being a uh, player who thinks that. ahead and doesn't take the bait. I'm so, so proud of you. Roll plus strength. Uh, uh, so where where you see the quarter staff in the center uh, there, the, the plus attack. So you have plus six to hit. So roll a d20 and add six. Oh, and add, okay. Then we're 16. 16, I believe does hit. Yes, it does. And you have the extra attack. So go for that as well. 
20. Yep, d20 again, and then add six. Four, uh, 14 plus six. Ooh, dirty, dirty 20. 20. Yeah, definitely hits. Mm, suck it. Uh, so Ooh, both God. attacks hit. What you'll do is just take two d10. Oh, okay. Roll them both. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, it'd be five per attack. So we're going to add 10. 2d10 plus 10. Now you got me doing numbers. Okay. So uh, seven. First one. Seven. I assume that a zero is a 10. Yeah. Or is the zero a zero? So we're at 17. 27 points of damage. I fucking suck all 12 inches of this loin cloth. A dukin. A dukin. Holy shit. Um, it's not quite dead. However, I don't think this one specifically will be flying anytime soon. <laughs> you just like crunch the wings much like uh, uh, what Mouse did. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much everything you got. Um, it's now in the middle of battle. Uh, uh, our warlock, Nugget. Cleric. <laughs> or, 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 right, yeah, Cleric. Fucking don't mind me. The, the other the other side of things the other side of things the the other side yeah. of my coin yes that's right yeah well, tip's not feeling good though well what we'll do I should for for now we'll we'll skip or move on but yeah, Tiff's not feeling good right now. She got, she, she got too nervous. <gasps> too many harpies. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, okay. You would like the boink. I don't have a character sheet, otherwise I would have fun with it. But uh, <clears throat> the harpy that you fucking crunched uh, it's gonna try and fuck you up. It probably won't go well. I'm not That's gonna lie. That's adorable. Um, it starts trying to break you with its claws. Jesus, <laughs> scratch, scratch, scratch. Two attacks. Ah! Well, that dice is gone for a while. Um, hey, fuck you, nat 20. Uh, oh, I don't believe you. Uh, it's, well, it wasn't on the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one I don't know where what it rolled because I don't know where it went. Um, <laughs> so, and then the other one is uh, an unnatural twenty. So both attacks hit. Um, so unarmored defense. While you're not wearing any armor, your armor class equals ten plus your, plus your dexterity modifier mm -hmm. plus your constitution. Your uh, AC your AC is definitely not ten. Uh, your AC is much bigger than 10. Uh, uh, AC is uh, 14 for you. So, plus 2. Yeah. Plus but, uh, be aware, though, with you being raging, you're going to be taking half damage. So, basically, the critical hit is just doesn't get much. So, uh, five, you take six points of damage from the critical hit total. And 40. And then from the regular hit, to three points of damage total. Wow. Real effective, Harpy. Good job. Fuck you. Tis but a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tis but Wyatt. a flesh wound. Uh, well, I said tip. Tiff said uh, for Nugget, they didn't write down all the spells. Uh, she said he'll he'll guiding bolt or heal. Uh, let's uh, see where we. Does she want a guiding bolt the the poor and overlord? The big bastard. Yeah. Guiding bolt's got potentially. The range to um, I say she did send his uh, character sheet. Let's see. Right there. Aha. Uh. 
Everybody hates when I roll for their character. So, Meg, that is true. you, uh, uh, in the uh, Discord chat there, on the mystery Discord chat, go ahead and open Nugget's character sheet and you can roll for Nugget as well. Uh, but we'll come back to you uh, right after Wyatt. Give you time to pull that up. Wyatt, go ahead. All right. Well, okay, so that thing's still alive. You know what? I'm going to... Can I move Wyatt? I can't move Wyatt. That's okay. I'm going to move... Uh, yeah, just show me with the ruler where you want to go. Yeah, uh, right in here. Okay, so that I am... Of opportunity. Right, yep. So I'm 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, and I'm right next to... I can I can grab dude uh, right I can grab Oliver. Yeah, that's a nineteen to hit you. Nineteen will hit. Yeah, max damage, seven Ooh. points of damage. Seven. Hell yeah. Ooh. Cool. Uh, yeah, you get in there and you see, uh, the remains of two soldiers, that have been mm. plucked out of their armor. Basically, their armor was treated like lobster shells, and they were eaten from the end. Like, it was disgusting. Uh, but no. Oliver Schreiber is alive. There is a gash on his forehead, and it's bleeding, uh, and there's a gag in his mouth. Uh, but he is alive, he's awake, and he's the one making noises. He's bound. Okay, so does he look like on the edge of death, like healing no. is dead? No, uh, okay. he, he. it looks like he took a hit, but um, not... Uh, near death at all. Okay, so then I am going to grab him and cast Thunderstep. How Ooh. do I have to be able to see? Uh, you teleport to that you can see within range. So can I see back to where Morgan is? Um, I'm there. I will allow it. Yeah, sure. So yes, I'm gonna grab him, Thunderstep, and that is a con save for anyone within 10 feet. So that is the three harpies, all three harpies. Because <laughs> they abhor it, Overlord is 50 feet in the air. So right, all yeah. three harpies, well, one is probably gonna be fucked no matter what they roll, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, <laughs> seven and eight. No, that's not gonna do it. And a 15. And that's uh, not going to do it either. That well, that is a 15. So... 15 total? Yeah. That's not going to do it. It's a 16. <laughs> so each will take... Uh, we did 12 damage. God damn it. It had 11 hit points. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Get him. And, uh, uh, the other two are looking a little rough. Uh, however, oh. uh, other nifty thing that happens, the mm. nest explodes. <gasps> so Excellent. I need dexterity saving throws from everybody up on the cliff near the nest. Uh, you get advantage because of your danger sense. Taco. Mm. Uh, the harpies have to is oh, another fucking seven and a six. What? Yeah. The Fuck balls. <laughs> um. Now, before before it goes too far, because this would have been my bonus action, uh, as right before casting Thunderstep uh, for his bonus action, he's going to use Draconic Cry, which is probably going to sound like Simba as a young cub, like. <laughs> but anyone within ten feet um, before my next turn, any attack on them has advantage. So the two that survived, so that survived. Uh, any attacks will have to be. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, real quick. Uh, um, yep. Mouse, Mouse got a 21, and so, Nugget got a 17. So both of you are going to take half damage. Taco, what'd you get? Uh, For your dexterity what's my, uh, what do I add? Uh, dexterity save, so it's at the top. Um, you see on the side there, you got your strength, dex, constitution. Yeah. Look to the right of dexterity and constitution. That small box there, that's your saving throws. 
Um, you have a plus two. Eight. That's a fail. So you'll t you'll still take half damage because you're raging, uh, which means mouse you're taking quarter damage. Uh, so it's sixteen points of damage total. Uh, so half damage. Uh, eight damage to uh, Nugget. Eight damage mm -hmm. to Cleave. And four damage to Mouse. Mouse is down one hit point. Because of the three temporary hit points. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the nest is no longer there. Because it exploded into pieces. And the shrapnel kind of got everybody. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Mouse just goes. Mouse did not notice. Mouse is all excited about the no witnesses. <laughs> he no he does not fucking notice. Uh, but Nugget will have you go. Okay. So, Nugget. The abhorrent overlord 50 feet up. You got to... plenty of range for a guiding bolt. Uh, Nugget is going to Guiding Bolt straight up the butt. Up the butt. <laughs> Nugget is realizing Nugget's character sheet is not fully filled out, so is taking a half second to look at the numbers to make shit work. Uh... <laughs> but it is all good. Nugget can do it. N Nugget's got this. Don't you even worry. It's just taking Nugget Nuggets a minute. Cause, you got cause this, the person Nugget. now playing Nugget is dyslexic and numbers are hard. So, N so Nugget's right, so. working on it. That is a 16 to hit. That just misses. Oh, that just hits. Yeah. Oh, it just yay. hits. 16. Okay. Nice. Nugget is about to unleash a guiding bolt straight up the butt. Nugget is rolling. Nugget has rolled a 13. Not bad. Radiant damage. And the next attack on the ad over and over at the little th on the big guy has advantage. Yeah. All right. Next up, one um, of the surviving. Wait, wait. Wait, yeah. hold. You got a bonus action still, yeah. Um, I was looking to see if I had. Nope, I can't do that one. Never mind. Moving on. Uh, all right, one of the very badly damaged harpies right now is gonna try and pick up mouse. So oh. give me an athletics check, please. Mouse, thanks. You are cute for trying. You have advantage because <laughs> you are raging. This mouse is a badass. And angry. 20. Mouse has rolled a 22. Fuck. Uh, so it grabs you and like is, is trying to like get enough lift to get you off the ground. You like grip your toes into the ground, grip the, the leg. <laughs> Don't come back down here. The harpy is now discovering the mistake it made. Uh, it'll use its second to, to just rake its claws across you. Oh, fuck. I don't think that's going to hit. Uh, 12 to hit. That does not hit. That does not hit, Mouse. <laughs> it does not pierce your scales. We Mouse. are to the BBC. Mouse may be named Mouse, but is built like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The harpy's like, why is this thing so heavy? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I'm fucking... uh, but yeah, BBC, you're up. All right. <clears throat> uh, well, it seems like everything's going to be dead before I even get there. Oh, well. BBC pulls out his arm like the pit boy in Fallout. And yep. he types in a bunch of codes. <clears throat> All right. Activating giant's might. And as you see, um, BBC starts to grow. 
and he grows about as big as Cleave. Yes. And that's my bonus action. <clears throat> then from it's there, my body. I'm going to move and then dash all the way up to the one next to the Mouse? red. Yeah, right there. Okay. Right there or there? No, right behind it. Okay. And that's all of my movement. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's my turn. Fuck. <laughs> These poor harpies. Uh, you have chosen unwisely. Uh, it's Oliver Schreiber's turn. He's going to try and get out of his bonds. Hiya! Five. Nope. Uh, that's his turn. <laughs> this harpy. Bonus is gonna... action. Try again. No. <laughs> Go over here. Uh, take two attacks at advantage because they're flanking you. Uh, oh, hey, uh, does a 20 hit, Genma? Yeah, yes, it does. Aha! Seven damage. And second attack. That's gonna miss. <laughs> At advantage, I got 11 to hit. <laughs> um, now the final harpy. Uh, right over here is going to uh, uh, try... Uh, they're probably going to try to take down Cleave. First attack. That is ill-advised. 21 to hit and an 18 to hit. So those will both hit for... Math. Three damage total. And then... Five damage total. Uh, and I forgot you had three uh, temporary hit points as well, so we'll just take two hit points off that one. You're at twenty-four. Okay. So you're you're definitely you're taking some hits. You're bleeding quite a bit, but you're. I'll be all right. You're still feeling good. Uh, it's the abhorrent overlord's turn. That's fine. Let's see if we can. We're gonna uh, find out who he's scared of right now. <laughs> Not so you. this is the sec this is uh, the second round now, right? Reactions are reset. Uh huh. Okay. Well, it, reactions are reset after your turn, or like at the beginning of your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the abhorrent overlord is going to come, like sailing down, and going to attack Cleave. Uh, unleashing how many attacks? Two attacks from the skull. Okay. Uh, fuck yeah. Uh, 27 to hit. And a 25 to hit. This is gonna hurt. Where, where are these rolls at? I'm... Because I want to see this shit. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use my reaction. Ooh. Uh oh. I'm going to use Cloud Rune. When you or a creature you can see within 30 feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to choose a different creature other than the attacker within 30 feet of you become the target of the attack instead of using the same roll. Or instead, using the same roll. So he's going to target one of the harpies with one of the attacks. You? Well played. Mm -hmm. Well played. So the first attack uh, rips apart this bitch. Just <laughs> like he comes down and cleave. You look up at the last moment, uh, and you're like, you're like, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. And this this burst of like cloud comes around you, um, and, and you move to the side just in time. Right as one of the harpies like tries to come at you, and then you hear this crunch. Um, and the, the, the ground shakes as the abhorrent overlord lands on the ground, the cloud dissipates and you see just this, this crunched figure underneath the foot of the overlord uh, where the harpy used to be um, 
yelling out in anger. He's going to take his second strike at you, Dewey. Uh, for that one, that one's damage is fucking math. 13, 18. Okay. 18 points of slashing, which is nine points for you. And then necrotic damage, which is mm. not halved. Uh, Raziel warned you. He's, he's, he's not sure you're going to be able to handle these. Uh, okay. So, 10, 15 points of necrotic damage. That puts you to zero, sir. I don't like that. Why am I at 15? I was at 24. Uh, that, oh, that's right. Uh, uh, yeah, you took, so you took nine points of slashing damage. Uh, no, not nine. Math, 13 plus, all right, so 18 points of slashing damage reduced to nine. And then 15 points of necrotic damage on top of that. That's 24 damage. <gasps> Leave drops unconscious. Oh, does this no. account for the three the three temp hit points? It, it, it did. <laughs> okay. Okay. I did. Yeah. Uh, lucky you though. That's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All okay. right, uh, Morgan. You're up. All right. So. <laughs> after measure. One second, please. Um. Amma, 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 amma. Where's my? I just had it. Where's my measuring tool, though? It's. Oh, yes. Okay. So I am going to uh, run thirty feet to here. Okay. So let me... Thank you. And then misty step as bonus action mm. over to um cleave okay and then it's an action all right yes to do uh i am going to cast spare the dying <laughs> okay so you don't have to make death saving throws um, I was about to joke that you're saying, oh, well, you are a vampire, and I mean, he can't fight you off, so, oh, no, I'm not, um, <laughs> but you fight that sense, um, and you, you protect him anyway. Yes, so spare the dying, Okay. and then I forgot the first time around to have Jasmine, uh, attack. Yeah, yeah. I'll have, so, so kind of rolled up on your shoulder, and... Yep. So she is going to attack the harpy to the left. Right there. Okay. You have advantage because you are. She's going to jump. She is going to jump and do a claw Claw attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. She starts raking at the eyes. Yep. So that is. Uh, Let's see. That's a six and a one. And she Sorry. has plus zero. Uh, just tries to claw at it, but the harpy kind of like kicks it to the side. Um, all right, mouse, your buddy has gone down. <laughs> okay, so first mouse is going to reach into pocket and take a handful of dust that is very special magic dust, I'm not even joking, and throw it in the fucking thing's face, and it must make a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. It is, is it magical? Um. He has advantage if it is. It's, it's a, it's a wondrous, it's a, it's my uncommon item. Okay. That you allow us. He has advantage. Fuck you, you piece of shit. This is stupid. What'd you get? Fucking dumb shit. What I got. 
Um, hold on. You mad, bro? I, I'm, a, I'm a little salty. One and a two. Uh, fucking Discord's being stupid. It won't let me send the picture. Uh, a five and a three. What does it become? Total? Total. Probably not enough. Uh, Probably not enough, but I don't, yeah, I don't, so I don't know what your monster is. Seven. Oh no, not even close. So, this is so fun. I'm so excited. Um, this creature is now incapacitated as it starts coughing and sneezing uncontrollably, and it can repeat its saving throw at the, each of its turns, or uh, if a lesser restoration gets cast on it, as I throw the dust of sneezing and coughing in its face. And then for my bonus action, <laughs> I'm going to scream, no witnesses. And in doing so, I'm going to use Draconic Cry because it's within, actually, is it within 10 feet of me? If not, I'll move up to it at this point. It is. Cool. So I'm going to use my Draconic Cry. So any enemy within 10 feet of me um, all my allies have an advantage on them until the end of my next turn. All right. <laughs> and the big guy's incapacitated. Uh, well, that's my turn. Cleave, it is your turn. However, you are unconscious, though you did get Spare the Dying cast on you, so you don't have to make a death save. So unfortunately, you just kind of lose your turn. That sucks. But. He snores loudly. Fucking shit. <laughs> you are so fucking lucky right now. Because <laughs> I've got nine tabs open, and each one of them says I was about to fuck you all the way up. <laughs> well, it does. It's now Nugget's turn. Uh, Nugget is going to bonus action cast healing word on the leave. big guy. Okay. So you do get to get back up with how much health, Nugget? Meg does not remember off the top of Meg's uh, head how much plus four. roll for this. D4 Thank plus you. four. Because oh. uh, eight, you get all you get all eight. Okay, you are conscious on the ground with eight hit points. I am angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Does he have to re rage? Your... Yeah, he will have to re rage. Um, then um. Nugget is going to. Uh, cast. That's how that works, right? I think so. So, uh, uh, I'm real quick. Yeah. Fun if... thing. Fiery Tiger said that their character died in D and D tonight. Uh, maybe Taco will get to experience that as well. Uh, that's fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was your action? Sorry, Nugget. Um, for Here an action. <laughs> Oof. Uh, for an action. Nugget is going to cast the cantrip <laughs> Sacred Flame at the big guy. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming he has disadvantage because he's incapacitated. Um, he's incapacitated and he has to make a deck save and I don't know that whatever, he can. he lost. Shut up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> heck six. yeah. Correct. <laughs> Stupid. You're welcome. So 2d8. you letting us take D8. fun stuff. Uh, that's uh, 11 points of damage. Uh, um, just a burst, like the, the, the dust that is in his face and this, this burst of holy fire around him as he lets out this, ah! and he is freaking the fuck out. Um, okay, are you staying right there, Nugget? Uh... You'll get an attack of opportunity if you move from the sure. other party. Yeah, we'll just stay there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Wyatt. Yeah, I don't have that anymore. That's a shame. Okay. Um, so, so we've got advantage on the big guy then. And the other yes. harpy. And the other harpy. Okay. Uh, I don't think I actually need to, but like, I'm basically going to move to wherever I get the best line of sight on the big mm -hmm. guy and uh, shoot off a guiding bolt. With the size of him right there, you can see him perfectly fine. Cool. So you Often have advantage to hit because of the last guiding bolt. 
That's right. Uh, yep, yep. But then just... you also have yeah. Anyway, advantage. Cool. All right. What do we got? That's an eighteen. That does hit. That's gonna be two, three, four, D six. Nice. Five, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, hold on. Taco's Great. smiling, and I don't <laughs> like. That's 15 Nothing. radiant, and. God damn it. Uh, no bonus action. Okay, yep. So I'm done. Uh, all right. We are back to the BBC. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Jen. <laughs> I appreciate you. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attack the harpy that's next to me. Mm, that thing is looking fucked up. <laughs> uh, the important overlord's starting to look rough, too. Uh, Does a 17 hit? Yup. Oh no, I hit 10 damage. Uh, Plus one more. And hit one. (laughs) After the thunder step and the exploding nest. Had ten hit points. Gotcha. Okay, so you still have your next attack. Um, yeah. <laughs> Does a twenty-six hit? Did you roll at advantage, just in case an at twenty? It it is an at twenty. I threw a hand axe. I got a Fucking twenty plus six. Hell. Yeah, what are you hitting? The important overlord or? Yes. Yeah, that definitely <laughs> hit. So 12 damage with the hand axe. Jesus. Nice. I haven't beaten up my bad guy. He maybe should have made better life choices. Yeah, uh, maybe. And then that is BBC's turn. All right. Uh, and can I have can I have moved about twenty five feet so that I'm within thirty feet of him at the end of my turn? Not a time. Yeah. Okay. You can get like right up here. Yeah. Uh, Oliver Schreiber rolls a natural twenty to get out of his bonds. That's it. I waited. He got out, and I'm like, all right, you're cool. Uh, and he is going to... Head this way as well. He's pissed. Uh, the last harpy. Making its last stand. Aww. <laughs> now, now, this is the decision as a DM. Do I... You're like, fucked either way, my guy. I'm just letting you know. You have a fight or flee. That, that's fine. Fight or I'm letting you know. Someone want someone want to make an intimidation check on this thing? He's gonna continue attacking Mouse because he was attacking Mouse. It's, yeah. Um. Uh, also, I would like to point out just just as a little thing to know, if the big bad guy doesn't keep save he doesn't save from it. Um. He's also suffocating. So yep. he's only got a couple of rounds left to live anyway, even if we don't. Well, you can hold your breath for the amount of time you have for a constitution. So he's fine mm-hmm. for that. But fucking being incapacitated is still fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Mm-hmm. What's not fine is out of the two attacks, the highest amount is a 12 to hit mouse. <laughs> no. Great, wonderful, awesome. Uh, it's the Abhorrent Overlord's turn. So he gets to remake his wisdom save. It, 
It's constitution. Oh, it's constitution? Okay. It's constitution. And he has disadvantage on constitution for hex, right? No, not, uh, not saving for saves. Save. saves, that's right. Abilities. Oh. Never mind. Good, good checking, though. Uh, he has advantage because it's magical. Swear to fucking god! Uh huh. Morgan, you're up. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> just, just let Cap know the details for the wiki. He <laughs> failed. Two and an eight. <laughs> no. That did a good day. Okay. Uh, so Eldritch blasts on the big guy. Yep, sure. First attack has adva uh, uh, advantage. Uh, well, you it's so it's a uh, ranged attack, so you would have disadvantage. So it's a it's a straight roll. Where is he right now? Like how? Right next to he's you. He's like right next to me. Yep. Okay. Unless you have a good okay. touch spell, you could grab him. What? Huh. Mm -hmm. I have a question. No, we're good. Did, did he technically end his turn, the big bad? Yes. Even though he's incapacitated? Yeah. I also have a question. Why? What is he wearing? Nothing. Uh, no. Practically nothing. There's like metal armor. Like, here, I'll make it bigger so you can kind of see. <laughs> what he looks like. Like, there's like this That's all I needed, metal. thank you. Why? Okay, I'm <laughs> Um. Before uh, she goes, can I use my reaction? Yeah. What's up? Okay. I want to use Stone Rune. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> when a creature you can see ends its turn within 30 feet of you, you can use your reaction to force the creature to make a wisdom saving throw. Unless the save succeeds, the creature is charmed by you for one minute. While charmed in this way, the creature has a speed of zero and is incapacitated, descending into a dreamy stupor. The creature repeats the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on a success. Double incapacitated. <laughs> Thirteen. You needed a fifteen. You're a piece oh, of double shit. incapacitated. <laughs> it's got a speed of zero. It's suffocating, and it's double <laughs> incapacitated. And it and it loves BBC. <laughs> hey, hey, little fella, come give BBC some love. Okay. Nimue! Take your stupid fucking turn. Okay. <laughs> um, so... I have my two shots. My two beans. Mm -hmm. Uh, the first one is a... 21 to hit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely hits. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, so that is going to be six points of damage from that one. Okay. And then the second one is an 18 to hit. Hits. And that is another six points of damage. Okay. And then because this motherfucker is also hexed, um, Add that two is... Is it 2d6? It's a yeah, d6 for each hit. Or 1d6. I thought you said 2d6. It's, it's, it's 1d6 nice. per hit. Well, oh, okay. Two hits, so... Oh, okay, I see. So that is a 5 and a 3. So another 8 points. I don't like you guys tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, like, they were really? surprisingly effective. Let me see. Let me see. Do I have a okay. bonus action? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, no. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm good. You're uh, okay. familiar? Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my familiar You're is going to attack that other fucking harpy again. It, that harpy has not been touched. I, I want you all to be aware. It has taken <laughs> no damage throughout all she of this try. shit. She, she gonna try. So... At advantage. <laughs> yep. Uh, 16 to hit. It does hit. Okay. So that the cat is... finally scratches. Yeah. What is her? I think it's like a D4. Yeah. Four. Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm. Cleave. Quick question Do I have a bonus action? You do. Okay. I'm gonna shove the fuck out of the big big guy. Okay. Roll an athletics check. Okay. Plus He's what? incapacitated. Plus, he failed. Plus six. Yeah. Okay, he 23. Failed. 23. I'm rip roaring, baby. Okay. I just are you prone? Sure. Sweet. You I'm gonna like, go ahead and you, use you my essentially rod. like just like uh, and he falls okay. over like a sack of potatoes. Uh based on you making that character bigger, your um armor has two indents that an object could be slid through, of which I'm going to put my immovable rod and press the fucking button. <laughs> where you are not going to get the fuck back up. <laughs> Dustin's like, I've created a monster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was going to find a way to use this fucking rod, and I pressed the button. Um, so suck it. I gave now, Taco a button to push, and he pushed it. Okay. <laughs> pushed now, the does button. the shove count as my action? I, I'll count it as bonus action. Um, clicking the button... You know what? It's a fucking one shot. You have your action. What do you want to do? I, I'm gonna fucking use this javelin and just yeet it directly into your face. I'm talking right, right. I can make that thing bigger so I can describe exactly where I'm gonna fucking put this javelin. Make it bigger. Make it fucking bigger. Make it bigger. <laughs> yeah. You see right where his nose meets his like eye socket. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm jamming that motherfucker square in there. You, you have advantage. Oh, I know, prone boy. <laughs> I'm about to pro bone you with a fucking javelin. <laughs> fucking worth it, my boy. Okay, what do I add? Plus six. Plus six. <laughs> what do you do? Suck all of my balls. How dare you? How dare oh. you think? You think for what? You put me unconscious, you geriatric fuck. How dare you? <laughs> uh, as right Oliver's now, running up, <laughs> Oliver's running up to like get back into the fray and why it's like, no, 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 I think he's got this one. <laughs> roll, roll your, your damage. <laughs> well, I rolled. I, uh, I rolled a sixteen plus six is twenty-two. Uh, no, your that, damage. That's hit, damage. Oh wait. Uh, so it's a D six plus three. <laughs> yeah, Would six. you like me to show the class? So nine damage. Yes. Yes. Okay. All twelve. You have inch. your second attack. I, now, I want you to picture this. It's on the ground, stuck. It cannot move for three it's separate fucking like reasons. <laughs> and it's coughing up a lung. It's coughing yep, up nope. a lung. It has a javelin in its face standing up. Yeah. And you have, you have a giant pole. Yeah. Would you? Bricked up right now, my guy. <laughs> Fully bricked up. I am not happy with you right now. <laughs> I'm not happy. 
And here's the thing, I'm not even raging right now. This is That's just true. me this upset. Is, this is just yeah. pure yeah. unadult rated pissed. Annoyance is a free action. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fact, my guy. Go ahead, roll your second attack with, with your with your quarter staff. So D20 plus six and you have advantage again. D20 plus oh, that Ooh, I almost fucked that up. three fucking ways. Because fuck this guy in particular. 18 plus 6, math. Definitely hits. 24. <laughs> yep. Yep. Roll your damage. Uh, D10 plus 3. 5. So 8 total. total? Yeah. I don't even care if he's still alive. I just wanted to fucking smoke him in the face and peg him to the ground. You all watch as Cleve, like, pissed, but, like, the calm pissed. Like, he just, he jams the javelin in, lifts his fence post, and just... <laughs> <laughs> the javelin <laughs> goes in. Only this much of the shaft of the javelin is still sticking out. <laughs> All right, who's up next? Who wants to just raw dog this dude? Um, oh, mouth. <laughs> with, with with the amount of blood coming out of this thing currently, uh -oh. you feel there's nothing more that needs done to this thing. Somebody cast heal <laughs> on this motherfucker. <laughs> cast heal. Is, and is more, does more Morgan need a con save? Well, it is Nugget next. The BBC I would like a turn. I'm pretty sure it's Mouse next. Did I click it mouse? Twice? I don't know. I mouse didn't go. Twice. Mouse. Do we just have a harpy to clean up? Yeah. Who has been I hit? Fuck that harpy. <laughs> fuck that harpy in particular. All right. Uh, I'll I'll allow you to like stand like in the cat thing here. So I you have advantage. Straight up my boot. Natural twenty. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck that guy all, in particular. You all are terrible people. <laughs> I, I mean, I love how Raziel was like. Can you kill my like, cat? I swear to God. <laughs> I love how Raziel was like, I'm, I'm like digging at the bottom of the barrel here, and I'm pulling these guys out. So like, I left, and now you guys just fucking rock up to this. That's twenty six points of slashing damage. Still up. <laughs> right. For the Guardians guy. of the Galaxy, baby. That's cool. It. I've got a second <laughs> attack. It won't last that second attack. There's 11, 11 AC and eight hit points. Bring it on. Cool. I rolled. Uh, I rolled a sixteen to hit. So yeah. Fucking grew this guy in particular. I rolled a twelve. So that's gonna be a sixteen hit points. You go Fuck up, that harpy you, you in take particular. The knee and it drops. And just, just, just take the head. That's no. Witnesses. Uh, uh, just because I, I want it, just because, just because this moment, I'm gonna turn to look to the guy that we were supposed to be re re like mm -hmm. <laughs> rescuing, and I'm just gonna Not look at him with the full blown rage eyes. <laughs> uh, he's Witness? he's missed you, Wyatt. Um, <laughs> any chance you can restrain that one? Restra probably not. This one, not a witness. This one's yeah. okay. Nope, no feathers, no abhorrent overlordiness. This is the one yeah. we're bringing back. Wow. Oh. And I'll just put the great axe back on my back. J just and because like, you as said, the rage fades. BBC, what do you want to do? Just because you said you wanted to do something. And because I wanted to say BBC. Hear me, hear me out. Hear me out. Sidebar. Hear me out. He does have armor that you can attach to your Warforged. All right. How do you want to remove it from his mangled corpse? <laughs> <laughs> so when is Taco DMing? Because like... <laughs> right? Because I'm in. I'm in. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you want to do, buddy? Hmm. 
cast mending on anything that's broken so we can <laughs> get it attached in one. I think the BBC is just going to go over and smash. As, like as the BBC does. Uh, um, you just go up, just just double fist him. Just. Hadouken. Hadouken. Double, just over and over until until uh, the BBC Hadouken. is satisfied. Just. That was for you, chat. Anyway. <laughs> um, I, I want to roll an investigation check because I don't know if I'll ever get to use this character again, but I want to find something if it's there. Go for it. <laughs> Same -sies. I want as many harpy feathers as I can get. Uh, okay, plus one, so with. 16. 16? Do uh, I find you anything go cool? to the abhorrent overlord. You go to its claws and you pull one out, like by the root. Yeah. And you see like this little drip of like necrotic energy. You have a dagger of necrotic damage. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, since that harpy was beheaded right in front of me, can I try to get a vial of harpy blood? Yes. Uh, that uh, is so easy to do right now. So <laughs> easy. <laughs> <laughs> like, just. She. She Just might be a blood a connoisseur and, and wants to try all of the flavors, but you know. You might want to get two vials then, because you don't, you, you never know. Yeah, she'll, she'll get however many vials she can. Yeah, Why oh, for your nature check. Oh yeah, what do we got, what do we got? 24. 24, uh, you yeah. find, uh, a, you, you're able to gather 40 harpy feathers. Nice. Um, Oliver Schreiber comes up to you I cannot thank you enough for rescuing me. Um, it seems we fell into a trap. We were told there was a certain egg that we've been on the lookout for was finally located. Apparently my intel was faulty. Just wait till I get my hands on that pierce. As you all gather up uh, and head back to Zadash. Mission complete. Heads held high. Ready to tell Raziel just how well you, how deep of an impact you have made. The and deepest the impact. Done. And that is where we will end this. Well, we made 1,766 gold pieces each. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's fucking go. There's a brothel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you get ba you get bad intel. Sometimes you wind up dead. It doesn't look. It's it's, 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 it's fine. Mouse is going to go buy cheese. <laughs> Mouse cheese. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for everybody watching, thank you. You you're all pretty okay. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, <laughs> Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, we will be doing episode three of Rolled for Cake. Of the Rolled for Cake. And mm -hmm. we'll see what shenanigans that group gets into. Um, as for players, uh, thank you all for jumping in, especially because, like, we pretty much decided this morning ish on characters. Uh, Taco, you built your character, like, what, a couple hours before the game? Never played uh, this. You did good. I had, had no fucking clue what we're doing. <laughs> you did good, buddy. Uh, fucking, I, I need to find a way to get the three cold bolts at, at the very least back into this. But we. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say into a trench coat, but yes. The accidental three cold bolts. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah, yeah by the way, Chad, like other than two of the cold bolts, Two of the kobolds was planned. The one wasn't. They were planned, <laughs> but not told to us. Yeah. No, we didn't yeah. tell anybody. We, it was literally me and Tiff, like, two hours before we started texting, and like, do, well, do you want to do something together, or do we want to just do whatevs? And they were like, yeah, sure, we'll do something. And we are like, I don't know. I was like, well, I got this kobold who's really annoying, and I kind of love. Um, and she went, hell yeah, I was also thinking about a kobold. And I was like, hell yeah. 
So, and then Cap comes in, cold and cold. I'm like, hey, what'd you make? And he goes, I made a cold, old wizard. We're all like, fuck yeah! Yes! Well, and, and if you if you want a good, fun callback, Wyatt was the blue kobold that the parent party met in the Halloween episode. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's the same guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yep, players, I appreciate you all jumping in. Um, one other fun thing. We may or may not have a special surprise Tuesday for anybody that's watching in chat. Is that cryptic enough? Yes. No. It's cryptic enough for crypts part. and cryptids. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we need more cryptids. Sponsored by crypts and cryptids. Good plug. Good plug. Yeah. I was waiting for somebody. That plug. That plug. I waiting for somebody. I got you. <laughs> I, but I, I was waiting for Genma to say it because then I'm like, yeah, of course the BBC plugs. Uh, but <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna leave so now. Good. <laughs> also, it took me about halfway through the game to realize what our group name was. Deep Impact. <laughs> oh, well, we just get to sit here and like fuck around for a minute. Yes. So we're, we're back at the so we're one. back at the tavern. I'm we're getting paid. With you people. Uh, you so you, you paid. head back to Zadash and above Zadash when you're like twenty ish miles away, the sky rips apart and a ship comes into view out of the rip in reality. Witnesses. Witnesses. Just because I just because I want to make you have to figure this out, I want to know what does harpy blood taste like. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> um, Day three of periods. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta be done. You're, you're we done. gotta be done. We you're gotta done. go away. No, 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 Moss. You're done. We gotta leave now. We, we can't. Yeah. We're not allowed. Could you do a harpy tampon that's just filled with harpy blood? I'm, as like I'm gonna check? stop you there. I'm <laughs> gonna stop you there. Is that possible? Like you right. throw it at the, the Why? evil guy? Rocco's not gonna stop I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm literally gonna leave. Um, <laughs> good okay, Lord. yeah, but. In the stream, in the stream. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it there. You know, just because we are on an ad break doesn't mean nobody heard us. If they're subscribed, they could hear us. That's fine. Just you know, throwing that out. I posed the real questions, okay? <laughs> this is true. Okay, no, no. good night, everybody. No, thank Thanks you. for hanging. We gotta, be, we gotta leave now. <laughs> <laughs>